Noah, having been warned of things to come that were not yet seen, in holy fear built an ark for the saving of his family. And so he condemned the world, and this is a very important phrase, became the heir of righteousness by faith. All the way back there. Righteousness by faith. So let's go on. The Lord saw how great man's wickedness on earth had become and that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. That phrase, all the time, only evil all the time. That's a very important phrase because Jesus said, as it was in the days of Noah, so shall it be in the days of the coming of the Son of Man. Yes, I know that, uh, you know, they were marrying and giving in marriage and, and eating and drinking up until the day. But everything we're reading right here, which I believe this is in Genesis 5 or 6, everything we're reading right here was a part of the way it was in the days of Noah. In fact, it was this very condition that led to the covenant with Noah being established. It says that every inclination of the thoughts of his heart was only evil all the time. The Lord was grieved that he had made man on the earth, and his heart was filled with pain. So the Lord said, I will wipe mankind, whom I have created from the face of the earth, men and animals, and creatures that move along the ground, and birds of the air, for I am grieved that I have made them. Now how could God do that and still keep covenant? Noah found grace in the eyes of the Lord. This is the gospel. It's the gospel. God found a man. For us, he found the man Christ Jesus. But for 